Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Miss V here today. How y'all doing today? Y'all, this is a makeup count. No makeup count today. How y'all doing? I'm doing good. Guess what? I won another giveaway. Yes, I won a giveaway on the beautiful Mickey's channel here on YouTube. Her channel name is Leah Laugh, Love, and Pray. And I love it. So, I participated in the 30-day, um, she had a 30-day journaling channel. Y'all, I love writing. And I hadn't journaled in a long time. So, I was excited when she had this challenge. See, these challenges, they spark up the juices of things that you have suppressed for so long. And so, thank you, Miss Mickey. Shout out to Mickey of Live, Laugh, Love, and Pray. Y'all go and show us some love. Tell them it's V sent you. This is a shout out. This is a shout out video. And I want to share with you all the prizes I won. So, first of all, let me sh show you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me show y'all my journal. I'll be back. So, this is my journal that I received from the beautiful Sadia over on Domestic Hand. Domestic Handmaid No Distinction. That's the name of her channel. She's beautiful also. And I won this. I didn't win this. She sent this to me in friend mail. And it's just a, a beautiful um, notebook that I turned into my journal. So, I used some stickers and I just um, made my own journal. So, I wasn't going to go out and buy, one, buy anything. Buy a journal. So, I just decided to use what I already had. So this is my journal. So the 30-day journal, what I liked about <clears throat> Mickey's 30-day challenge is she gave you scenarios to journal about, which was wonderful because the thing about that is you get, that gives you a chance to escape what's going on in your life. Say you may be stressed out dealing with something. You're not thinking about it when you're journaling because you're thinking about what else scenarios she gave you. So I'm going to give you some examples of some scenarios she gave us. I'm still journaling. I haven't, I haven't filled out the entire 30 days. And um, I'm just still journaling, and I enjoy. So each day she gave you a different prompt. So I'm just gonna go over a few of them. So this prompt was this was prompt number four, day number four. This one said, "What brings you joy?" And what I'm gonna share some things with you. I'm gonna share three of my prompts with you that I'm comfortable sharing with you all. So one thing that brings me joy is knowing that God loves me unconditional, me little old me. And she asked you to um, elaborate on why that particular thing brings you joy. And the reason why it brings me joy is the fact that I know I live under grace and mercy every day. That's, that's, why, that's why it brings me joy. So, what brings you joy? Tell me in the comment section. Okay, the next problem, you're going to flip pages. Okay, she said, make a um, music playlist list. Playlist of uplifting music, all types of music that you like. So y'all, if y'all been following Miss V a while, I am a child of God, but get what? Uh, I love all kind of music, baby. I like country. Music. Now I don't like no heavy metal and no hard rap. Um, some pop, I don't really like that. But anyway, so I still like a little R and B. I like uh country music. And I like, of course, I like gospel music, but I like the contemporary gospel, you know. I like the uplifting gospel that um, makes you believe that God is real. I don't like that sad saying, oh, I don't like that kind of gospel. Uh -uh. I like the uplifting stuff like um, uh, Tamla Man. People like that. So, I made a playlist, and I'm going to tell you some of the um, people I'm going to have on my playlist. Uh, if y'all not familiar with R&B and um, gospel and old school, you all may not know these people. But I'm just going to tell you some of the artists that I put on my playlist. So, R&B is people like Jacquees. Yep. Y'all just bear with me. If you don't know them, don't worry about it. I'm just, I'm just sharing this with you. Ella Mae. Uh, I love me a little Drake. I like the um, song is Her. That's her name, her, H-E-R. I like a little Chris Brown. I like a little Luther Vandross. Okay, let's go over to the gospel because, you know, I'm still in the world. I'm in the world. I still enjoy this stuff. Until God convict me, I'm going to keep on listening to it. So don't y'all worry about it. Calm down. Don't worry about it. Just because you're a Christian, you got to just listen to gospel music. All these songs, none of these songs have um profanity. They're not degrading anybody, the songs that I listen to. So anyway, gospel, I like Sean Mitchell. He's turning it around. He's turning around for you. I like a little Marvin Sapp. 
never would have made it. I know I can't sing. Little Tamla man, take me to the king. And Tasha Cole. Baby, Tasha Cole. Okay, a little old school. I like Luther Vandross and I like Whitney Houston. So that's, that's some of the people on my playlist. So it was just fun. Okay, the last prompt I'm going to share with you all. Then I'm going to get to show you what um I won. Uh, she said, jot down a new skill you would like to learn, then journal your answer. A new skill I would like to learn is sign language. And then she asked you, what is holding you back from learning? What's holding me back is I haven't taken the time to take any courses, and I, I just haven't taken time to do any research on learning how to do it. If money, and the next thing she asks is, if money is, if money is what's holding you back, is it possible for you to save up for it? Yeah, it would be possible if money was the reason. Money is more, time is more the reason I haven't done it. So, I may be doing some sign language here later. I mean, in the future. Okay, it said, and then, and going back to number two about the money, if if money was holding you back, she says, list at least five ways you can make extra money in order to save for your new skill. So I thought it was great. I love this. So if money was holding me back, even though it was, it's not, I, I still jotted down five things I could do to save the money in order to learn sign language. I put, I could work some overtime. I could get me a part-time job. I could sell some unwanted items. I can sell my badge holders that I decorate, and I can add some affiliate links to my um, YouTube channel. So that's it. So that's three of the prompts that I shared with you all that I was comfortable sharing with you all. But I'm going to go through and just read some more of the prompts, but I'm not going to um, discuss them because uh, those are personal. So this one says, this is a good one right here. You're at home alone just relaxing, reading your favorite book while having some me time. When the phone rings... It's your spouse to tell you that tomorrow is just the two of you hanging out and having a good time all day doing whatever you like. You just need to come up with a plan. Will you plan a casual day, a romantic getaway, explore the city, or do something else fun? And then she had like four questions that you were supposed to answer. Like, where will you go? What will you do when you get there? What will you wear? And then journal all about that day. Baby, isn't this fun? This is fun. So, like, whatever I had going on during this 30-day challenge, I wasn't even thinking about that. I was just thinking about this. That's why it's so relaxing. So, anyway, uh, shout out to Mickey. I love you. Beautiful young lady. Uh, shout out to her for hosting this 30-day journal challenge. I really enjoyed it. So, y'all go check Mickey out and tell him it's V sends her some love. Uh, are y'all going to see these people channel? Y'all make sure y'all go see these people channel that Miss V is sending you to now. I'm not doing this stuff in vain. Y'all help me out. Okay, this is a beautiful card. And then she just put on here, congratulations. Okay. So, that's that. And the first item I won, well, I usually, I usually don't like to hear uh, paper unraveling on camera, so I'm doing exactly what I hate to hear myself. So, I should have had this already open. Sorry, y'all. Y'all didn't know I was human. Guess what? I am. So, ooh! The Lord will give you so much stuff you ain't even got room to receive it, but stuff falling everywhere. Oh, look at that. Look how good God is. All that stuff. Woo! He'll give you so much you ain't even got room to receive it. Y'all ought to see all this stuff on the floor. I'm telling you. So, she sent me this beautiful stamp. Y'all know I love crafting. Me V, so I know I'm dramatic, y'all. That's just me. I, I ain't gonna apologize for being me. A beautiful card to send to one of you all. See, it's empty. Look at God. Baby, he supply all you need. Look at Look at these beautiful cards. Hold on. Let me get this. Let me get my blessing off this floor, y'all. I'll be back. I'm back, y'all. Beautiful card. Beautiful envelope for the cards. Baby, he'll give you so much. Baby, that scripture is real. That ain't no joke. Here's another beautiful card to send to one of you all. See how I'm just passing the love along? Okay. I ain't got room to receive all this, but thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, these beautiful um, tabs. Look at this. Is this not a beauty girl's tab? Thank you so much, Mickey. When she was showing these items, every time she showed some, I said, Oh, Lord, I would love to have it. All you do is ask you to speak it out your mouth. I spoke it out my mouth, and then she had a video saying that I... Baby, I ain't got room. I ain't got time to run, run around in room. I ain't going to act good. Okay, and these are some acrylic stamps. I've never used these, but I am going to be 
started. I love it. Ooh, it says spray. It's got my butterfly on there. Look at that, y'all. And I think she purchased all this from Hobby Lobby. Oh, that's cute. Look at these gym clips, y'all. Paper clips. You have some great taste, Miss Mickey. And look at the little girl. Oh, man. Baby, y'all don't know nothing about me, V. Me and my granddaughter gonna have a ball with this. I'm gonna help. I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna let her start journaling too. Because she has ADHD, so that'll help her. So thank you so much, Miss Mick. I know I just said thank you, but I'm gonna keep on. Because I am very grateful. And these stickers, she gave me. Ooh, this beautiful. Oh, y'all may not get this. I keep this for myself. Hope. Leave yesterday behind. I always bring a brighter tomorrow. Yeah, I'm probably gonna keep this for myself, y'all. Sorry, I'm being a little selfish. And look at this. What I want. Baby, God is good. It's a journal. He know I love journaling. And he know I'm on a budget and didn't want to buy a journal. Baby, he give you everything you need. Just keep trusting in him. All right, I got my appointment, my task, and my errands. Little notebook. Ain't that? I'm just speechless, y'all. I'm speechless. This video going to go over 15 minutes. I try to keep it under 15. But in some certain situations like this, it's necessary. Whew. Three more sets. Three more journals. I want to put in my purse. I want to leave on my desk. Now on my bedside, then I leave this one on my desk. Mm -hmm. And, baby, she a traveling notebook. Got Jesus on. I'm about to cry. I'm about to cry. Cause this is wonderful. And last but not least, when she pulled this out, I said, I am going to get me one of those. And the Lord said, no, you're not, because I'm going to send you one. My daily Bible verses journal. Look at that. Beautiful. My color, my background color. Look at that. So, baby, I'm going to be using this with my Bible study series. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Psalms 96 and 1. My daily verse journal for writing, inspired, learning, envisioning all the above. This is beautiful. Woo! God is good. I ain't going to cry with him. Y'all ain't going to see me with the ugly face. But I am thankful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Miss Mickey. And thank you to whoever created YouTube. I think I read about who created YouTube. It was a young man named Chris. I don't know, somebody. Anyway, thank you. I love this platform. That's going to conclude this video, y'all. I told y'all my experience of um, participating in the 30-day journaling challenge that was hosted by the beautiful Mickey over Live, Laugh, Love, and Pray. And I love her name of her channel. We did the Why Did You Name Your YouTube Channel Name Challenge, and I loved her video. She said the reason why she named her channel Live, Laugh, Love, and Pray because she was in a depressed state, and she realized she, she, she needed to live more, she needed to love more, laugh more, and pray more. Is that not beautiful? I was I was drawn out. Oh y'all, my stomach growled. I was drawn to her at the on that video because I was like, that is wonderful. That's a that's a appropriate way to name a channel because she needs to do all four of those things more, and that's wonderful. So that's it. That's Miss V. Uh, receiving all these abundant gifts that um God has down here on earth for me. I'm just like the pastor, my pastor. I want everything God got on earth for me. And I'm going to receive it, baby. I'm not turning anything down. Y'all want to send me a V something? She's going to greatly accept it in the name of Jesus. Because there may be him answering some of your prayers. You don't turn people down. My mama always said when somebody offers you something, you take it. You be humble and you say thank you. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to ask y'all for anything, but I'm going to be very humble and thankful when I do receive something. So that's going to conclude this video. This is Miss V. Let me see. I got a question for the video. I'm going to start doing me a question because I like conversating with you all. So the question I have for you all is if you could change anything about your life, just looking over your whole life, would you change anything knowing that it's the reason you got it got, I mean, it's the reason for you being the person you are today. Would you change anything? Uh, Miss V, even though I know that, but some things I went through that was very hurtful, I think I would change some things. 
I know one thing, I wouldn't have got pregnant at the age of 15. Yes, Miss V was a teenage mother, 15. Yes. I know that's the main thing I wouldn't have did. But it's not up to me. I just want to conversate about it. So I would not have been a teenage mother. That's what I would try to be. But I love my daughter. I love my children. But if I had, could change it, I would not have been a teenage mother. I wouldn't have. No. So this is Miss V. I'm going to continue to show you love and encourage you. And I'm going to always help you save on some of the things you need to get some of the things you want. Look at you have seen so much, baby. You won't even be able to receive. I don't even have no way to put this stuff. Thank you, Jesus. But I'm thankful for it. That's what he'll do. Maybe that's what he's going to do in your bank account. When you go to the doctor. When you when, when the doctor. I know the doctor gave you a diagnosis, baby. But uh, what did Jesus say? The doctor gave you a diagnosis. He's just going by what he learned in school. He's just doing his job. But what did Jesus say? Did Jesus say you had diabetes? Did Jesus say... uh? You gonna die in two years? Hmm. Think about it. See y'all on the next video.